Welcome back everybody to Animal Crossing. It is March 3rd, Saturday at 9, 24 p.m. And my cat almost just fell off my lap. Let's go ahead and check our mail. Nice. Let's see what we got going for us. We got home. My dear Colin, the early signs of spring are all around. That means it's time to come out of hibernation and get active again. It's a season for getting in shape from dad. Oh, it's my dad. My dad sent me a letter. And I could get a ringside table. And... <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and extract our fossils, and then we'll go sell some stuff immediately to Tom Nook. Stop. You're not allowed to eat wires. He's trying to eat my headset wire. I'd be sad if he ate my headset wire, because I've had this headset for years. So I guess I am kind of due for a new one, but you know, I'd rather not spend uh, like 40 some dollars on a headset right now. Especially since I have a... Uh... I'm recording this. Hey. St stop. I'm recording this like immediately after the previous episode. Oh my god. It's not disconnect my microphone. Okay. Good. Let's actually put this up. Moving my microphone up for those of you who are uh, audio listeners. You know, there's no visual representation of me raising my microphone, but uh, it did happen. Oh, hey, Lobo. I buried my most prized belonging in one of the F acres. I know it's a waste, but I guess I just don't care. Finders keepers from Puck. Puck, what did you hide? So somewhere along the beach, Puck hid something. Hey, Lobo, what are you doing over here? Hey, how are you doing, Groove? Oh, yeah, glad to hear it. Oh, hey, remember, if you overdo it, you ruin your body. And your body is important. That's how you make love. So then, Groove, why are you here? One job. Nothing, I've got nothing. Not a zero, zip, zilch. Sorry, but try again later. Alright, well, thanks. I guess. For nothing. My cat is currently chasing his tail. You, you think that would be a dog thing, but no, it's a cat thing as well. He, cha he was chasing his tail in the litter box yesterday. And now he's attacking my foot. I'm okay with this. I'm also okay with catching this fish. I need more new fish. We have a loach on us. We're going to sell one of them, and then the other one's going to the museum that we caught from yesterday. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I was eating some chicken nuggets with honey mustard. Because I needed to eat something if I was to push forward in life. Because if you stop eating, I just found this out recently, you die. You'll die if you don't eat. I was, I know, I was shocked myself. Also, I can't throw this fishing rod for shiz. Alright, let's get this fish. And it's just another large bass. These are uh, everywhere nowadays. Hey Tom, what's up? How are you? I'm good. Oh my god, you're selling. Does this act as a drawer? Oh, it's too wide though. Oh, this would be awesome if it was only one. All right, well, let's just sell stuff. <clears throat> I need one more. I literally just need one more cabinet. So I might just order one right now. It's pretty good. Uh, no, there's nothing I want to sell. Um, there is a cat on my foot. Is there a way I could get money for that? <laughs> uh, see my catalog. To specify whatever you'd like to order, right? It's quite simple. All right, I want this blue wardrobe. Oh, ho, that's a blue wardrobe. Very fine. Yes, including shipping and handling charges. Price is nineteen twenty. Sure. I, I'm sorry. Please. Because whenever I order something online, that's what I say. Amazon's like, are you sure you want to order this? And I'm like, please! I email the staff. I'm like, please, I want it. Please, I really want it. And they're just like, okay. <laughs> All right, so I only noticed the white tulips I got. So white tulip, yellow pansy, white cosmos, pink cosmos. Okay, I actually have places to plant all these flowers. So buy them. Let's go ahead and do that first. Hey, Puck, I'm going to go find your most valued treasure soon. Cassian, you are flipping out on my foot, dude. Awesome. As long as you, as long as you're enjoying yourself, I don't mind. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, here's a friend. Forgive me. I was too busy watching my cat. Is that a crime? Uh, wrong one. We need the white cosmos. Hey, Pippi. I'm buying these. Don't destroy them. I'll know it was you. Do we have purple pansies? No. Okay. So I'm playing these ones down here. I started over here to the right, but we'll plant some more right around here. 
We're gonna. These are going all on the beach. Yeah, th th our village is gonna look super nice in a few months. If it doesn't already, it's gonna look nicer. Oh, there's Sahara. I thought she was maybe gonna be here yesterday, but she's here today. And this is probably what Puck hid. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like clawing me, but also trying to like bathe at the same time. I don't know. I don't know why. Oh my god, he's going. Cr ow! Ow! Uh, I don't think Puck buried a fossil. I don't think he he could have. Hey, Lay, why are you sneaking around back here? It's kind of shady. Like, if you're behind some sort of establishment, I'm gonna assume you're being really shady. All right, well, I haven't seen it. So it might be on the other side, unless I happen to just overlook it. Almost ran over those flowers. Okay, I was gonna be pissed if like she damaged flowers during a round. I was gonna be like, Sahara, I'm kicking you out. I don't have that authority, but I'm going to. Oh my god, my foot is really warm right now. There's a kitten attacking it. Come on. I just realized there's a new Walking Dead episode today. Technically, it was yesterday, but uh... I, I, I bought the episode. I don't have cable, so I can't watch Walking Dead live. I have to watch it a day after on Amazon. And I just realized that uh, there's a new episode for me to watch today. So I'm probably going to watch that tonight with my girlfriend. It's going to be your first Walking Dead episode, Cassian. I'm surprised we didn't name you after someone from The Walking Dead. So we named you... Oh yeah, so I mentioned his name. It's my cat's name, if you're new. Uh, I have a kitten named Cassian. And uh, he's named after a Rogue One Star Wars character. Uh, the name suggestion was from my girlfriend, who was watching Rogue One, and I guess really liked the character, so I was like, and I, I remember, I only saw the movie once when it first came out, so I have a rough time remembering all the details about the actual Cassian, but I was like, you know what, I like the character, I like the name, so I'm like, we, we could go Cassian, that's fine. He was very close to being named Azkaban. Very close. Oh my god, he's climbing my leg. He has never climbed my leg before. He's climbed other people's legs, but not mine. Alright, you can chill up here, but you can't attack my headset wire. I could just take my headset off. Alright, I'm going without audio right now. So whatever you hear, I could have just left that going, and that could have annoyed you guys, but it wouldn't have annoyed me. Also, I need to make my, uh... I need to make my letters to the museum. <laughs> Actually, now that I have a cat, I kind of want to get a wireless headset. And then my life will be easier because I can record and hear my game and he can sit on my lap and I don't have to worry about him hitting the headset wire or trying to bite it. Alright, so Puck said one of the F acres. I'm going to call him out and say he's a liar because I am at all the F acres and I do not see what his most valued treasure is unless it's super well hidden. Like, is, is it back here? Like, where is it? I don't see it. Is it real? Hey Tank, we didn't see you yesterday. Hey, how's anything working out for you, Colin? I didn't see you at all during the day, did I? You busy? Kapa! Good to hear, busy is good. It's no fun having something, nothing to do. <clears throat> Tell me, Colin, what's new? Kapa! I'm bored. Yeah, Safara, she's doing her thing. Well, of course she's tired, she's a camel. Camels do a lot of work, okay? They carry stuff on their back. They spit. They walk. Alright, they sell carpets. Camels are busy creatures, dude. Let's talk to Anacati. Colin, is it possible you're avoiding me? Because it sure seems like you are, Cannoli. If you're not, then why wouldn't we meet up at home to this hour? Because you're a witch, and that this is where you thrive, at, in the dark, in the night. And you want to try our luck, Cannoli? It's simple. I'll trade you my outfit, some stationery, or some fruit for your loach. Mind you, this loach needs to go to the museum. I mean, we got two loaches back to back. I don't think they're hard to get. And there's a chance we could get an orange. She hasn't offered an orange. She has not offered an orange. What do you think, Cassie? What do you think, boy? Think we should do it? Yeah, that's a mouse. If we ever get these in his apartment for some strange reason, you gotta hunt them. Um, The crazy part of me wants to say yes. The reasonable side of me says no. Who am I today? I think I'm reasonable today. So, also I just realized the emulator is frozen. Um, I'm gonna say no. I'm sorry. 
I know, but this is an important fish. It's it's important. I'm sorry. I just want to I want to get all the fish. All right. You don't just, you don't have to yell at me. Why is everyone sleeping outside? You don't sleep outside unless you're going camping. Oh, maybe they're camping. I actually did not consider them. They might be camping. Welcome, please do come in. So very nice to see you. Of course it's nice to see me. I'm the only one that donated stuff in here. I'm like your best friend, practically. You're not my best friend, but I'm definitely your best friend, Blathers. Who, indeed, woohoo, a loach, I believe. Even run-of-the-mill common fish are valuable resources, you see. All part of the Grand Tapestry. What? You need to take excellent care of this fellow. Oh, yes, you can rest assured. Excellent care, indeed. You have our deepest, most fun about. I forgot he doesn't tell you anything about fish. It's like, uh, fossils? He'll tell you about the dinosaur. Bugs? He'll tell you about the little dinosaurs. Paintings and fish? He's like, yeah, who, who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? That, that's literally his dialogue. He just says, who fucking cares? Good evening, I didn't see you during the day, did I? Were you totally busy? You didn't have time to come and see me for a moment, pet pet. You can't forget about me, you know my pet, you mustn't. And if I don't chit chat, do you need something from me, my pet? What's going on with you? I'm begging you, would someone please change that hideous town tune? What the fuck? I put a lot of effort into that. It's so incredibly bad that it makes my stomach churn. I absolutely cannot bear to hear it again. Cider deserves something much more refined and elegant, don't you agree? Well, maybe submit one to my YouTube comments, alright? You ever think about that? Colin, I highly doubt you have a talented bone in your body, but you do seem to be able to run fast. So be a dear and go change that horrible music, would you? You know where to go, don't you? It's a little board with the froggies on it near the post office. Inspiration? Who needs that, you simpleton? Just go change it now, my pet. I'm putting you on the pit list. You're you're getting a warning. That is insulting to my art. It's not even like a critique. Like you, you can maybe like do this and make it sound better. No strip. I don't like it. I don't have a pen or pencil. Oh, it's my rooster tip pen. I don't want to use my rooster tip pen. It's a collectible item. I'm gonna use this pen that's barely like held together. Um, Matilda actually crossed Matilda off. You don't live here anymore. He also doesn't live. I haven't up. I haven't used the pit list in so long because everyone's been mostly well behaved. But uh, we're adding a uh, asteroid to this. Meanwhile, there's also an asteroid in Skyrim who's in charge of the Dark Brotherhood, which uh, worries me that we have an asteroid now here. What do you know about the Dark Brotherhood? Tell me your ways. She could be an assassin for all we know. Oh, hello. Hi, Ursula. Colin, how very nice to see you, Grim. When night falls, I start to miss people, Grim. Let's get right to the point. What can I do for you? Let's chat. Hey, you're such a. You, this isn't my video. Excuse you. What? What? You had? Do you have something to say? Do you have something to say? Do you want to say into the microphone for those in the back? All right, speak up. No, that's not loud enough. So yeah, Cassie's gonna do all the voices now. Go. Yeah. Is that what she said? Um, naturally. This is when you talk. You know you don't talk? No? Okay. Alright, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. Uh, speaking of guests, I've had a lot of guests over ever since we've gotten a cat. We've had guests over. Uh, I had like multiple friends. Our mind was here the other day. People, people love the cat. To be fair, mine didn't come for the cat. The cat just happened to be here. Everybody else came for the cat. Oh my god, did that pick up on the microphone? I forgot my microphone's like down towards the cat. You might have heard my stomach growling. I don't know. I usually uh, do a noise gate on my uh, audio now to kind of like get out any like background noise, like white noise. So I don't know if it might get help my tummy rumble, but oh my god, was that loud. Alright, so I'm researching the beaches because. We haven't found Puck's item. He said there was something in the F acres, but we haven't seen anything. The F acres are dry, which is ironic because there's water on them, but I have not seen anything. Is there anything back here? I don't think there is. And you search the beaches and you search around here. What if it's like right here? No, okay. I thought the lights might have like obstructed it. I don't see anything back here. 
Anything on the beach right here. Puck, where did you hide this item? Or did somebody find it before me? I don't even think that's possible, but... It's the only thing I got right now, because I'm not seeing it on the beaches or anything. It could be, like, behind Lay's house, I guess. Is it back here? What if I bury something? Oh, I can't bury fish. What if I bury this tympanoid? And then dig it back up? So I can kind of see back here. We're using those pro Animal Crossing strats right now. Nope, so far nothing. I don't, I don't know where this thing is. It was the F acres, right? It wasn't E. I didn't like fucking misread, misread it. I obviously you miss saying it. I know. I'm, I'm bad at English. I know. I know. Do you know where it is? Do you know where it is, Cassian? Cassian, point the way. Maybe I should go reread it. So this is really cute, but Cassian's actually just like watching my screen right now. <laughs> He's learning about video games right now, live. Okay, maybe not live, like months in the past when you're watching this. He's learning. He's getting stronger. You're gonna play someday, huh? You're gonna play for me. You, last night when we were playing Mario Party with our mind, uh, our mind like tried to have him play, but uh, he didn't play. Instead, he just slept. Somebody threw a perfectly good shirt away. It's a gelato shirt. Does it taste as good as it looks? It's like the red striped one with like other lines of color. It's like white and red and like maybe a little bit of green. I actually wore it on I think the most recent episode I edited I think. Speaking of I haven't put up a video in like five days ever since I got Cassian. But uh, hopefully tonight I'll after Walking Dead I'll try to edit something but who knows. Pretty sure I, the boys might want to play some video games. Oh, here we go. Cool, the only thing we're missing now is whatever Puck buried, but I don't think we're ever going to find out what that is because I don't see any hole down there. Like, I'll check the board again just to make sure I read it correctly. I buried my... March 3rd, 2018. I buried my most prized belonging in one of the F acres. I know it's a waste, but I guess I just don't care. Finders keepers from Puck. One of the F acres. It's around there somewhere. I just don't know where. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and just mail off our letters. And then we're going to end off with KK Slider. Oh, I need to pick a new song. I forgot I can't. I forgot I pick it every week. So I need to do that. Okay, so we're actually picking a song that I know of. And it's actually really good. I need to put my headset on for us. Fortunately, in the time it took me to pick a song... Um, Cassian turned around into a little ball and is now napping. So he's gonna miss the concert, but he's not gonna bite my headset wire. Uh, yes. I do have a request. Thank you for asking. Far out. Get ready to jam, man. KK Dirt style.
KK Dirge is so good live. It is so good. I got literal chills from listening to that. And then, uh, if you guys remember Pate, she was a villager we had, uh, you know, a while back. Uh, she actually had this song playing in her house, which is really cool. I'll go ahead and play it for you guys. Okay, it's not about, I'm sorry. We're gonna pop in a tune and listen to KK Dirge. Lights off. It sounds so scary and spooky. I love it. KK Dirge is one of my favorite songs from Animal Crossing. It's definitely my favorite when I was a kid. So, I'm glad that that was our random pick. It was legit random. It made me happy. And I'm also going to randomly end this episode. It's actually not random. We did pretty much what we usually do. We got the fossils. We planted flowers. We talked to people. And we got KK Slider to give us a song. Um, tomorrow's Sunday. I'm going to play early in the morning to maybe see if we could afford some turnips. And we'll see what uh, Jones prices them at. Um, I'm going to say like 84 or lower is good. But, you know, Tom Nook is a cheapskate and didn't go above 80 last time, so. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys. Oh, hey, Lobo. Want to say goodbye, Lobo? Hello again, Colin. What's up, girl? I'm about to end the episode. Uh, do you want to say anything to the fans? Oh, you're just going to talk about Sahara, the lady that's already here? All right, well, thanks, Lobo, for your uh, involvement in this episode. All right, no, no cherry shirt you want to get in the way? I'll wear you tomorrow. Oh, my God. I don't know what happened right there, guys, but I'm going to end the episode before it happens again.